Virtual Teacher is back. This is Teacher Judy. This time, we're gonna talk about how to use complex sentence to show problem and solution. But of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Before we start, let us review our lesson about clauses. Look at the group of words. Tell which clause has a complete thought and can stand alone, and which clause cannot stand alone. Let me read to you the clauses. 1. We run home. 2. Because it's getting dark. 3. After the exam. 4. We played at the plaza. 5. Let's take a walk. 6. Before we see a movie. I will give you enough time to think for the answers. Here are the answers. If you would review and take a look, the clauses which cannot stand alone starts with conjunctions like because, after, and before. We will be talking more about clauses as we make complex sentences in our lesson. So let's get started. Now look at the picture. What does the mother do to her child? From the picture, we can say that the mother is hugging her child. Why do you think she is hugging the child? An answer would be, Because the baby may be hurt. Now let us combine the two sentences we made. The mother is hugging her child because the baby may be hurt. Now what type of sentence did we make? The type of sentence is complex sentence. In our lesson, we will use complex sentences to show problem and solution. Now let us study the sentence. I shall not go home unless mother comes back. Now let us answer this question. What is the independent clause? The independent clause or the clause that can stand alone is I shall not go home. The clause has a complete thought, so that is why it is called an independent clause. Now, which is the dependent clause? The dependent clause is unless mother comes back. It starts with a conjunction unless. That is why it is called a dependent clause. Again, what word was used to connect the independent clause to the dependent clause. 
we use the word unless, which is called a conjunction. Let us study another sentence. I like you because you are friendly. What is the independent clause? The independent clause is I like you. It has a complete thought. That is why it is called an independent clause. Now, which is the dependent clause? Because you are friendly. That is the dependent clause. What word was used to connect the independent clause to the dependent clause? The word is because. That is called a subordinating conjunction. Now, from another given complex sentence, let us try to find the problem and solution. Study hard so that you will pass in the exam. What is the problem? The problem is that he has to pass in the exam. Now, what is the solution? The solution is to study hard. Now, from the given compound sentence, which is the dependent clause? So that you will pass in the exam. We found out that this is the dependent clause because of the word so that. Now, let's see which is the independent clause. Study hard. It may be a small clause, but it has a complete thought. The subject is you. A complex sentence is composed of one independent clause and one or two dependent clauses. An independent clause is a simple sentence by itself. It gives a complete meaning. It can stand alone. A dependent clause does not give a complete thought. It cannot stand alone. It depends on an independent clause to complete its meaning. Now here is another example. I love you because you love me too. The independent clause is, I love you. The subject is I and the predicate is, love you. In other words, it has a complete thought. The dependent clause is, because you love me too. It starts with a conjunction, because. Let us try to answer these following activities. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask your teacher for help. Now enjoy learning while answering! I will give you enough time to answer or you can pause this video and continue answering.
Now it's time to correct your answers. Here are the key answers. I hope you got a passing score. If not, continue doing your best. Again, congratulations! And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos.